growing up, um, there's always been a struggle with my family trying to make ends meet. So my sophomore year, it started to get challenging. I started to feel anxiety and depressed and overwhelming with a lot of students being there because I felt like I wasn't getting the attention from the teachers as far as my school work. I was in medical class and I started to feel weird and that's when I started like blacking out and acting out. They searched me just to, to see if I had anything on me. I you know, hurt myself. Um, I had closed pockets so you know they cut my pockets and um, then that's when they put me in handcuffs and walked me out um, during lunchtime. From there, my parents decided to switch me to Riviera Beach Preparatory Academy. I'm Patricia Goodrich. I'm a therapist at Families First of Palm Beach County. I provide behavioral health services to the students at Riviera Beach Preparatory and Achievement Academy. I felt like I didn't need to talk to anyone. I was kind of like reserved. I was like, oh no, I'm not going to talk to anybody. When I first met Sakima, she had come to the prep from a large high school where she had been experiencing a lot of anxiety and stress being in a large environment. Ms. Patricia Goodrich showed that she actually cared. I was like, you know what, okay, I'm just going to give her a chance. And it all worked fine. She you know, kept up with me like in my gr with my grades and made sure I was doing good in school and always checked up on me. I saw a lot of strength and resiliency in Sakima and a lot of determination. So we built on those strengths to help build her self-esteem and her self-worth. And we also worked on some coping skills and coping strategies to assist her with her anxiety and her stress. It's not good to hold in something, you know, that you probably can't talk to your parents about or a relative. And it's always good to talk to someone about it and let, them out, let it out and let them know how you feel. So I saw this wonderful change in Sakima. She took these strategies that we had been working on and these skills and she reframed her experience to become a mentor to other students in her class um, and to graduate as valedictorian of her class and to start college immediately after graduating from high school. I mentored at least 15 to 20 kids um, when it came down to final exams and help them pass because some of them they were already 20 and 21 years old and this was their last chance at getting a diploma so I didn't want to see myself walk across the stage when I know they could walk across the stage too. The behavioral health services that Families First is providing the students at Riviera Beach Preparatory and Achievement Academy is vital. Many of these students come from broken homes, they're homeless, they're experiencing community violence. Families first recognize this need and they're in the forefront in providing this necessary service to families and individuals in the community.